Well, good morning! By some freak of nature on the algorithm, you have tripped into the John Fry Tag channel. And let me tell you what a difference a day makes. Now, I've been doing a little series on uh, checking the moisture on my firewood, so let's take a look real quick. So, two nights ago, we had heavy rains. Probably got two inches that night, and we had a little bit of flooding down at the barbecue. I put a video up about that. So, we didn't have any real damage or anything. I had to suck up the floor in the garage and a couple things. That wasn't a big deal. But now it's turning colder. So today is uh, Tuesday, and last week we did a little test on firewood moisture, and we're going to do that again. We'll have to split one and throw a variable in the mix. Maybe we'll just see if that one dries a lot quicker. I'll see if I can find two that are comparable, and then we'll split one of them. So if I remember right, the videos from last week, we were running into the 35 range. The week before, it was like 38, 39. So these are starting to look better. I mean, they're starting to look lighter. The color is changing, but this one looks pretty dark. Let's see what this one tells us. 24. Wow. 25. 20. Nineteen, twenty-four, nineteen. These have, it can't be one week, and they're turning starting to look like they're in the burnable range already. Holy smokes, that's amazing! Now it was a warm week. We didn't have much as far as below freezing temperatures. That one's twenty-seven, so that's a pretty wet one. I'm gonna pick out to two wettest ones, and we're gonna split one, and then we're gonna set them. Look at that, twenty, and we're gonna set them side by side. Oh, there we go. There's a 36. That's what we want to see. That's a 19. I don't know. It's it's weird. It hmm. They're sitting right side by side. Why would the one dry out faster than the other? What do we got there? 34? Okay, that's that's more like it. 20. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. One's right next to the ones that are 30 are 20. So I don't know. It's weird. So I'm going to pick out two that are really very close, and I'm going to split one. I'm going to stack them back on side by side, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I found the two I want to experiment on. It's these two right here. They're right on top of the pile. They've been sitting there the whole time. Right now, they both read 20. Um, but you know what? We're going to split one, see what the inside reads, and then we're going to let them sit a week and see which one dries quicker. It's, of course, going to be the split one, right? Who knows? Okay, as you can see... My wood's pretty short. That's probably less less than a foot. I'm gonna give it a whack. Let's see what the moisture inside is. Okay, so. 25 right there. <laughs> this is the one I stabbed in the end. Okay, we got 22 there. We had 25 here. Let's see what the middle says. 36. Okay, so the moisture is hiding in the middle. There we go. We got 38. 38. I'm going to throw these two pieces back up top. Check them again next week. Let's see what it does, if it changes. I wrote them on, on the one half. I wrote the moistures down with a Sharpie, so I'll know exactly what it is. But what we've learned, or what I've learned so far, is checking the ends is deceiving. Because most of these are starting to almost read like I could burn them. I split that one and it's 35% in the middle. That's 15% higher than burnable. So, I guess that's what we're learning here. Anyway, oh, here's another thing right here. I found this in my wood pile. Looks like the uh, powder post beetles are, are out to get my wood pile. But little do they know that'll be gone by spring and uh, so will they. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this quick little video. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys on the next one.